This video is going to investigate a few characteristics and properties of water. So um, what we're gonna be using, what I'm gonna be using for this is a container of water and I dyed the water red so it'd be easier for you to see it. And then I have a toothpick here. And then I also put some wax paper on the cover of a sturdy journal. That way I can figure out how to get this, hold this up closer for you, hopefully to be able to see what's going on. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just going to scoop up some water and I'm gonna show you that as I try to drop the water out of the dropper, notice how the water droplet stays together. It stays compact, it doesn't break apart which is a pretty interesting property of water. The other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to take some water and I'm going to put a couple drops onto the wax paper. Notice how the water stays together. It doesn't spread out all over the place and it'll even move around on the wax paper and stay together and not break apart. So if I try to take a toothpick and break the water apart, it's not that easy to do. It, it's like the water almost doesn't want to break apart. But then when I take my toothpick and I move my water close to the next drop, it comes together pretty easily. So it's, it's a little more difficult to break apart than it is for the water to come together. So using what you just saw on this video, you're going to answer the first five questions for states of matter activity one about water.